Hi and welcome to this button guide for Windows 7 and 8 phones. This guide takes you through the six buttons on your phone, three of which are on the side. As a demonstration, I'll show you on another phone. This is just a Nokia Lumia 520, and as you can see, it's got a very similar set of three buttons on the side. So going back to our main phone, at the top we have a larger volume rocker button. We'll come back to this once we've unlocked the phone to demonstrate the actual usage of the button in the phone itself. The middle button is a dual function button. Pressed once, it will turn the display off and lock the phone, or will display the lock screen. From the lock screen, simply swipe upwards and type in your password if you have one to unlock your phone. Before placing the phone in your pocket, simply press the lock button one more time. This locks the phone screen, preventing accidental phone calls. Now that we've covered the quick press, let's look at long press of the middle button. This is a traditional on-off button effectively for the phone. As you can see, this provides me with a question of whether or not to power off the device. Swiping upwards will cancel this. Swiping downwards, however, will force the phone to do a power down. With the phone now off, I simply press and hold again another long press on the phone. The phone very slightly vibrates and then starts to boot up. And that's the phone rebooted. Now let's go back to the volume rocker button. This button is pretty conventional on any make of phone really. You can see the volume scale going up and down in the top left hand corner there as I press or press and hold the volume rock button. It's worth noting if you keep holding the lower button all the way down to the bottom where it says zero there, the phone goes into vibrate mode, so there's no ring at home at all. I won't demonstrate other uses of the volume button, but it can be used during videos in order to increase and decrease the volume of the video themselves. And the same is true within a call, where during a phone call, um, this will be used for the call volume so that you can hear the, the caller less loudly or, or louder than they initially are. Okay, so on to the third button. Um, in lock mode here, even in the phone, pressing and holding the third button will activate the camera mode. This allows you to quickly capture shots without the need to unlock the phone. While in camera mode, you can see I will do a single press of this button, which will then take a photo so it acts as a shutter button while in camera mode. As I haven't unlocked the phone you'll see I can't actually view other photos on this phone, I can only see what I've just taken. Ok so let's take a look at the front facing buttons on the phone. When the screen display is lit up three buttons appear along the bottom just underneath the screen here. We'll now take a look at these one in turn to see what each of them does. The first button we'll look at on the far left is the back button. This has two different operations dependent on whether or not you press the button or press and hold. If we start by navigating into a menu system, then a single press will take us back one screen and pressing again takes back a further screen. The only variation in this behaviour is within a web page where the back button acts as a browser back button taking you back one web page. If we now look at the press and hold function of this button, this function provides application switching capability so all the applications I currently have open on my phone are now visible and I can close them by hitting the X or switch to an application by simply pressing on it. The second button is the Windows button and has the Microsoft logo for this. Pressing this returns you to the start screen regardless of where you are in your phone. A quick but very useful function. This key also has a press and hold function which enables voice recognition 
which can be used to make phone calls, send text messages, and in this case I'm going to open an application. Finally, the third button on the right hand side is a search button. Pressing this button takes you to Bing, Microsoft's search engine. These six buttons are all standard across Windows 7 and 8 phones. I hope that's been helpful. Thanks for watching.